you actually are invincible. Invincible It's About Time is a uh, superhero movie about a boy named Mark Grayson who finally gets his superpowers and ends up becoming superhuman like his father. This TV show was rated a 9 out of 10 on IMDb and I can fully endorse the fact that this was amazing. So this show was so good, it got me so excited that I just had to do a movie mistakes on it because it was so great. Once again, welcome back to Movie Mistakes, and today we're going to show you some of the mistakes we found in Invincible. And in, if you haven't seen it yet, you are missing out. If you like the superhero genre, this one is fantastic, especially the fight scene at the end. Ah, it's about time. So at the beginning of the show, the two security guards are guarding the White House and notice that this one is drinking coffee. N nothing abnormal about that, right? However, when the ground starts to shake, just before the two Smurfs pop out of the ground, notice that the guy is not holding his coffee anymore. Now granted, he could have dropped it just before he was about to fall down, but we're going to count this as a mistake nonetheless. So for our next mistake, we can see that the Mauler twins are attacking the White House. Just as security shoots one of them in the head, we can see that there are empty shells littered all over the ground. But as the camera angle switches back and forth, we can now see that the shells have vanished for some reason. Maybe they wanted to pick them up and reuse them. I don't know. In this part, Omni-Man has made it home for some breakfast and a little dessert. Mark is disgusted and puts a cereal bowl on the arm of the chair. But when that camera angle switches, we can now see that the bowl is now on the end table and not on the arm of the chair any longer. And parents should never ever talk about sex in front of their kids. In this scene, Mark's friend is talking to him about the attack on the White House. But Mark, trying to defend all the superhero, tells his friend that they never actually got inside. I can't believe the guardians of the globe let them get that close to killing the president. They didn't even get into the building. But if you watch the show, you can see here that they technically did get in the building. You can see here, the guy just walks in right before the Batman knockoff uh, distracts him and pulls him back outside. During all my time of doing these movie mistakes, I've never seen one quite like this one. Take a look at this girl here with the blue backpack. Notice that she doesn't move at all. She's almost like frozen in time. It's kind of weird. Uh, we're going to chalk this up as a mistake as well because, hey, she should be moving, right? In this scene, Mark comes home to a home-cooked meal. And notice that there's a little bowl right in front of his dinner plate. But when the camera angle switches back and forth, we can now see that the bowl is now missing for some reason. Maybe the Flash knockoff took it. What was his name? Blur or something? I don't know. For this mistake, notice that Mark and his friend are walking at school. Nothing unusual about this except for the fact that they were wearing the same clothes that they wore yesterday. Kind of weird, I thought. And if you think we're going to chalk this up as a mistake, you can bet your boots we are. This one is not really a mistake, but when he falls down, Mark says, I meant to do that. So I thought to myself, where have I heard that before? I meant to do that. In this scene, Omni-Man takes his son to meet Art Rosenbaum, the guy who designs superhero costumes. And notice that his face is pretty clear for an old guy. Looking pretty good, Art. But when we get a shot of Art from a different angle, we can now see that there are moles on his face that weren't there before. So I've always thought this a lot of times when I watch like these kind of superhero movies when cops are shooting at the bad guys. I mean, why don't they just shoot him in the face? There's like a mouth hole right there, or there's an arm that's exposed. I know he may have super strength, but shoot him in the face, dude. This is just crazy. In this scene, the Red Rush is on a date with his girlfriend or wife or whatever. And notice that the plate of meat and cheese is firmly on the blanket. But yet again, when the camera angle switches back and forth, we can now see that the plate is halfway onto the grass, along with the, that bowl of bread or whatever that is. Although the movie was great, we can do a little bit better than that. Staying in the same scene, Omni-Man is making a sweet gesture and puts his hand on his girlfriend's face. But what's going to appear on his wrist? Do you know? 
Well, if you were paying attention like we were, the little alarm on his eye watch starts going off. Well, that watch wasn't there earlier, was it? I didn't think so. So, tell me in the comment section below what you guys thought of Invincible. And as usual, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell now. We'll keep you updated of all of our up and coming videos. And also, don't forget to click the join button to become a member. Would you like a shout out in one of our videos? Go ahead and hit the join button now and become a member. Thanks for hanging out with us here at Moving Mistakes, and we'll see you next time.